Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back. We're going to be starting Part C on our 2019 Grade 8 Gauss paper. Uh, in this video with question 21, one thing to note about the Part C questions, all five of them are each worth eight. So there's 40 marks up for grabs in this section. These questions should be a little bit harder. Hey, 21, in Jen's Baseball League, each team plays exactly six games against each of the other teams in the league. So six games against each of the other teams in the league. If a total of 396 games are played, how many teams are in the league? Hmm. So each team plays six games against each of the other teams. So if there were just two teams in the league, we would have six games. You know, Jen's team, other team, Jen's team, other team, Jen's team, other team, Jen's team, other team, Jen's team, other team. Jen's team, other team. Okay? So we get six games. In fact, no matter what pairing we've got, we're always going to get six games. So, you know, if you've, if you've got teams A, B, uh, uh, and C, A, B, uh, B, and C will have to play, but they'll play six times. And A and B will play, and they'll play six times. And A and C will play, because you play against every other team six times. And so that would be a total of 18 games. Well, we could we could experiment with four games. And there's going to be lots of different ways to do it, but every single pairing, you're going to have six games. And so here we'll get a total of 36 games. You'll notice that these are always multiples of six. Okay. So that's something to, to keep in mind. So if we've got 396 games... And then we're going to have uh, what? Uh, so you divide by six games per pairing. And we're going to have, uh, we could grab our calculator if we need to. Uh, 300 divided by six is going to be 50. 96 divided by six is 16. So that should be 66 games. Um, so it's not 66 games, 66 pairings. Okay. Well, how many teams are needed to produce 66 different pairings? Okay. Well, suppose we had T teams. Okay. Each team... has T minus one teams it can pair with, or it can play against. Now you might think that means, ah, T times T minus one, different pairings or, or different uh, sort of matchups. Okay. But the problem here is team A might say, okay, I could pair with B, C, or D, Team B comes along and says, I can pair with A, D, or C, but we're counting the A, B matchup twice. Okay? Because you can view it as A deciding to play against B, or can you, you can view it as B deciding to play against A. And the way we've written this, you can't really tell it apart. So what we need to do is divide by 2 for the total number. And we can actually check. We've got A can play twice here, B can play twice and C can play twice. We've got three teams. How many different pairings do we actually have? Well, one, two, three. Three times three minus one over two is three. Otherwise, we'd think there were six different matchups, not three. So really, we just need to solve this. Multiply by two on both sides. T times T minus one is 132. And, well, you could play around with it. Uh, you know, it's a grade 8 level contest, so we're not going to get into quadratic equations and nice ways to solve this. But it doesn't take too long. You know, quick little guess and check. And, of course, you can narrow down your possibilities by guess and checking these answers here. But you'll notice that 12, and then 12 minus 1 is 11. 12 times 11 is 132. Right, so that tells me they're going to be 12 teams. So 
12 teams play. That gives me 66 pairings. Each pairing has six games associated with it. That gives me my total 396 games. So 12 teams. And I think that was A. It absolutely was. So there we go. A, 12, and that's all there is. So up next, we're going to take a look at question number 22. I'll see you for that next time.